Hello guys, Beanick here, and I've got a game of Free For All with the UMP Silenced. And actually, it was kind of funny when I got this game because I, I wasn't really expecting to get a game. I was just sort of uh, goofing around. <laughs> but this game, uh, I think I'm going to start turning off my killstreaks because this game is a little bit uh, a sort of reserved at the point where I get my tr attack helicopter because I get my attack helicopter. And then I start playing that a lot more defensively because, I, of course, I want to get my AH-6 and my Pave low. So I, I think from now on, I'm probably just going to play with the Specialist loadout. And uh, that, you know, that, I really like it. Spe okay, and this guy right here, this Rye Shield guy, was being very obnoxious the whole game. And I don't understand why you would use a Rye Shield in free-for-all. <laughs> I think he gets a, a very bad score. But anyhow... Um, yeah, I'm going to start using the Specialist loadout because I think it makes me play a little bit more offensively. And it I don't know, I like the idea of having every perk in the game. And the thing about the Specialist uh, loadout is that even if you get the perk, if you don't have the pro perk unlocked, you don't get it. So that's my next step is to, you know, try and get every pro perk unlocked so that when I get the Specialist bonus, I'm pretty much unstoppable. <laughs> uh, anyway... Yeah, I, I just wanted to say I I know there's been a lack of videos in the last uh, about the week last week, and uh, well, it it's probably <laughs> I catch this guy uh, throwing down his predator missile, which I don't think he was too happy about, but it's primarily due to uh, school final exams are right now, and you know uh, as much as I do enjoy doing this, uh, school does unfortunately for you guys take priority over my you know my life um i have final exams and but here's the good news so um as right now i'm recording this it is saturday december 13th my very last final exam is uh december 15th so it's 12 days from now and after that i have a month off of school and i'm really not working that much so i am going to be able to get a whole lot more videos out which i am really really looking forward to and uh it should be, I don't know, it should be fun. So uh, that's something for you guys to look forward to. And a couple things I do plan on doing indefinitely is I found this really cool Minecraft mod slash map. And it's Zelda. It, it's not any particular Zelda game. It's just uh, recreated on the game Zelda. And there's the Zelda music. <laughs> I mean, it, it looks awesome. And a couple people have done some playthroughs of it already. But Zelda is one of my favorite games. So I definitely want to do that. And, yeah, right here I get my attack helicopter, so I kind of hang back in this area. I'm not really camping, just be playing very defensively. And, I mean, that's what you got to do. So, uh, especially in free-for-all. So, the Zelda thing is one thing I want to do. I I want to get some in-depth guide guides for the Modern Warfare guns. Now, here's the thing. Um, Xbox Ahoy, um, this is where I got the idea. So, I know people are going to say uh, my videos are very similar to his, and they will be, because that's exactly where I got the idea, and I don't deny it. Um, I, I probably would not have come up with this idea on my own, and all credit goes to him. So, if you guys have seen Xbox Ahoy's gun guides before, as most of you, I'm sure, have, they're fantastic. Uh, the ones before for Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops are very informative, they're very helpful. The thing is, unless you have Elite Premium, which not a lot of people have, nope, uh, you can't get his gun guides anymore because he can't upload them because he has a contract with Activision. So I'm going to do those for you guys. And uh, granted, I don't have the, the cool accent <laughs> that, that he has. That would be awesome. But uh, I, I do plan on putting a lot of hard work in it. And I, I will credit him. It, it's his idea. But I just want to do it for you guys. I mean, uh, I know that information that he gives is very helpful. So I don't have Call of Duty Elite Premium. So I, I can't be copying his videos. So uh, I'm just going to do my own. And hopefully those will be interesting. Hopefully they'll be helpful. And <laughs> yeah, I catch this guy trying to shoot down my... AH6. I guess he gets what he deserves. Um, yeah, not a whole lot of tips in this video, and I think I'm gonna give you guys one general tip for all videos of people who do well. Now, here's the thing. I think that tips for even Modern Warfare 3 already are very redundant in that, I mean, everyone's saying the same thing, and while these gun guides, I, I'm excited to put those up, and those sort of videos are very helpful, I find. And, however, I find the tips like, oh, I mean, Call of Duty is a game that's been out for, like, how old is Call of Duty? Over five years. This is the eighth Call of Duty. 
So tips are very, they're very redundant. And anyway, here's what I would recommend. Anyone who does good, what you want to do is you want to, you don't have to listen to what they say. Look at what gun they use. Me, I'm using the UMP with silenced. It's a very good choice. I'm using scavenger. If you want to stay alive, also a very good choice. Hardline um, is good if you're going for kill streaks, but I'd recommend Assassin if you're not a great player. Um, the reason I'm not using Assassin is because it's free for all, so it's not a, as big of a deal as it is in team games. So uh, something like Quick Draw would be a very good choice in this game, but because the UMP has relatively good hitfire capabilities, I opted out of that and went for the Hardline. Plus, I'm trying to get the Pro version, so that's why I was doing that. I mean, just look at the perks I'm using and go with those. Also, uh, look at what kill streaks I'm using and just watch the routes I take. You can see I'm not running down the middle of the map. You can see exactly the areas of the map I'm going, and that's what you want to do. A lot of these routes that I take, I've learned from other players, and not so much in Modern Warfare 3, but especially in Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops, I used to watch like CNNers and Hutch's gameplays, and I'd see the routes they would run, and the buildings they would stake out, and I would take those idea ideas and turn them into my own. So that's what you guys can do. Just You don't even have to listen. Just, <laughs> just watch. And uh, here I go whipping out my FMJs, or FMGs. Those guns are deadly. As you can see, they're very accurate far away. And I actually had a uh, Steady Aim Pro, I believe, on because I was planning on playing this game with the FMGs, and then I decided not, <laughs> decided not to. And this guy gets sort of turned on, in a way. Um, yeah. So, hopefully those tips will help you guys out. Um, and I, I did want to choose this gameplay because I thought there were a lot of interesting moments in that people were shooting me and I managed to survive and <laughs> I think this riot shield guy comes up like a lot in this video like yeah here he is again and I don't know who would use a riot shield in a free-for-all game it's not really that helpful but I finally get my second attack helicopter and right now I'm I'm trying to get my AH6 but uh, I don't get it and right here again guys are swarming around me so yeah that that's pretty much everything I wanted to say I will have a video coming out right away on how to record edit and upload gameplay to YouTube a few guys have asked me how I do it I use a hop hog which is what 99% of the commentators use no matter what system you're on I also used to use Sony Vegas but I don't anymore I since I got a Macintosh I use uh, Final Cut Pro which is a really good program. I don't think the editing is as simple as it was in Sony Vegas, but that's primarily just because I'm not used to the program. So it will come with time. One thing I notice is it's it's so much faster. I mean, I don't have a shitty computer, and I, I'm not bragging about like Macs or anything. But my Windows computer would take like uh, for a 10-minute Call of Duty video, it would take about three to three and a half hours to just render the video once i was finished editing it it would take that long to export the video my final cut pro on my mac takes less than 10 minutes so it's really upped the, my ability to make more videos and it's kind of ironic because i've made less vi videos since then uh, like i said due to school so i'm um, sorry about that and there's my phone i hope you guys can't hear that i'm just gonna let it ring um, actually, one show I wanted to mention, if you guys have not seen the show Breaking Bad, wow, that's, it's an amazing show. <laughs> um, I've started watching it about two weeks ago, and I've already watched 24 episodes, and each episode is, well, without commercials on Netflix, it's 45 minutes long. So that's, <laughs> that's uh, almost a whole day's, uh, worth of watching videos, so definitely a lot of time not wasted, but dutifully spent. It, it's a very, very awesome show. It's, essentially, it's about this high school teacher who um, gets cancer and becomes a meth dealer or meth producer. That does not give away the game. That's not a spo uh, movie. That's not a spoiler. That's reading the synopsis. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen it, I'd recommend checking it out. Um, if you want to watch it online, you don't have Netflix or anything, here's what you do. Go to Google Breaking Bad Sad Reel. And go to that site. Sidereel is a great site for linking you to any online videos. What it does is it, it compiles the links of all the places you can watch the video online. So yeah, go and check that out. I will have a link to the Sidereel and anything else I've talked about in this video. Remember to follow my Twitter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully these tips can help you out. And I'll have a lot more videos coming out soon.
I do promise, guys, stay tuned. Final score was 30 kills, 3 deaths, and good day.